Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I'm going to show you some really cool tricks on changing the appearance of your buildings using the node setup in seconds flat. We're going to be using the big, medium, small Wild West kit, and I highly recommend you guys check this out. This kit is badass. I like it a lot. It's got so many cool features. I know you'll love it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a building and I have a building a master right here from the Wild West kit. Uh, I'm going to go into layout, uh, turn on the material and I'm going to go to my shader editor. And right now when I select on this house, it is set up to be selected on the glass. So I'm going to select the building and in here is the node setup that's going to be on every building that's in this kit and this is this here basically is to me is the basic textures and the setup and giving the shape and form of the building um, over here is a uv setting uh, which allows these nodes up here are going to be able to change the appearance of the house or the building um, and then down below here is going to give you some options to change some colors of the weathering and the, the, the different colors that you can put on the house of the weathering. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you up here right now. This is the house and it's pretty, you know, it's pretty banged up and it looks damaged. Um, so I'm going to go to my first set of nodes up here in the UV editor and in this color ramp here, You'll notice that if I select on the first one here and I start to slide it down to the bottom, you'll see that the dirt and the grime on the building gets really, really strong and more pronounced. And this thing looks really, really bad. <laughs> uh, and it's got the weathering on, you know, on the, uh, the steps and the deck here and all this here. It looks like it's in a really bad desert storm or you know, a dirty, dirty area. So, you know, that gives it that effect. And then over here on this color ramp here, if you select this one and pull this down, you'll see that it adds, you know, more of the actual weathering and, you know, dirt around the entire house and on the ceiling, on the, you know, the whole, the whole house itself, it just adds that to it. So if I was to pump this back up a little bit, and then you have a little bit showing. So <clears throat> let me show you something that's really cool. And now you can go over here and see that all the, if the sand is in your color, you can go up in here and you can kind of change it to maybe a little more of a rusty color. Um, then I would copy that, paste it into this one. And then you have like this more rusty look. And uh, if, if that's too much, you can darken it or, you know, make it more dark and then copy it out of here and paste it into this one. And it's, you really got options here with colors and the way to really make this look shitty. Um, so this looks like in a really bad abandoned old, you know, crapped out house. Okay. So now that I showed you how to adjust the damaging, the dirt and the weathering on the buildings, we're now going to show you another cool feature to where we can change the entire look of the building. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go in here into the node setup, the same node setup, except this time we're going to change the principal shader, which is this right here. So basically up here it says building a color. So I'm going to just delete that. I'm going to open. I'm going to back out to building B. And I'm going to go into building B and I'm going to go into multi textures because you need to go into multi textures. If you're going to change the textures to different buildings, the textures down here are for actual using building B. But if you want to swap textures, you're going to use the multi textures folder. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to pick building B color and hit OK. Now, as you'll see, the, um, the building's already changing colors, and that looks cool. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to follow suit. We're going to go to the building A metalness and delete that. And I'm just going to add in building B 
in the multi textures, I'm going to go in there and add metalness. And then I'm going to change this to non color data. And then I'm going to go down here to roughness and just delete that and hit open. And I'm going to back up to building B multi textures. And I'm going to grab the roughness out of there and set that to non color. And then I'm going to go down to the normal map and delete what's there. Open back up to the B building. Go into multi textures once again and select the normal map. And there you have it. So now you have an entirely different looking building from what we started with. And another cool feature that I'm going to show you now is I'm going to open another instance of Blender. And I'm going to open up another building. Let's grab building Seamaster this time. And once this loads up, I will copy it out of here. Um, copy out. And I'm not going to save this. So I'm going to go to this scene here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it into this scene. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the side. And as you can see, they're totally two different textures. Uh, completely different setups. Now, if I go to this original house here that I just took all this and changed it to the multi textures, I can easily swap these out by just copying this and paste it onto this house. Let me change the node setup to the building. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paste that node setup down here. And I'm going to grab it, drag it down here. And I'm just going to disconnect this node here. And I'm going to plug this node in. And there you have it. So now I have both the houses looking exactly the same with the same textures and setups and everything. And once you set a multi texture up on one of the buildings, you can copy that multi texture to any building in the scene or any building in the pack. And that'll help you out and do everything that you need to do. So once again, I can just... Uh, Actually, now that I showed you how to do that, I want to show you one more thing. And that is actually, I want to show you how to make the house completely clean with no damage, no dirt, no weathering at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the building A here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to bypass all this stuff here. And you're going to bypass all this stuff here by taking your principal shader, this right here, and you're going to plug it in right to your surface in the material output. And now when you look at the house, the house is completely clean, nothing at all, no damage, no weathering, you know, no dirt and grime other than, you know, the natural imperfections in the woods. So with that being said, that looks really cool. And that was as easy as just bypassing this whole node setup. And if you want to put it back, you're going to just drop it back to this first node set up and then you're going to drop this back into surface and there's your building again so guys i hope this video really helped out and it showed you a lot of the features that you can use in the buildings and this is a very cool kit and i enjoy using this a lot so thanks for watching and until then take care bye bye now